all that's going to happen is we're going to draw and fire five rounds at the number one dot. Okay, well, excuse me, you guys already shot at the one, at the number two dot, okay? Up! Same thing again on the number three. Same thing again on the number three. Up! On to the four, on to the four. It's gonna be draw, fire, five. Up! So, you're doing this. And what I have found is the gun starts to do this thing where it's, it's, it's kind of pivoting kind of like this at the end of a, an immovable object right? And that does not support um, hitting small stuff really fast with multiple rounds. So what I would like is for everyone, instead of this, is to sort of that thing I was talking about, tricep, shoulder engagement, arms bent. So here's what we're going to do, uh, and I'll show it to you. So we'll be at the three-yard line. We've got our eight-inch circle in the center here. Eyes and, ears. Eyes, and ears. Eyes and ears. If you guys want to just gather around. So, that's on this time, all right? So I will try the uber aggressive turtling shoulder elbow lock thing. Just watch the movement on the gun. Everyone kind of notice that bounce, all right? So, now, now it's kind of hard to see, but from my perspective, the gun was tracking in a lot more neutral position and the dot was returning more to where I wanted it. I wasn't really looking at the hits, but I suspect the hits were a little bit closer and less strung from bottom left to top right. So however you normally shoot five rounds as quick as you can. Nice. All right, so finger straight, aiming it on the target. I'm gonna just change one or two things, okay? <clears throat> So see how your elbows are sort of oriented down right now? Mm -hmm. Try and bring them out just a little bit more. <sighs> Draw your shoulders back like you're trying to crush my hand, okay? Five rounds as quick as you can. Try that one more time. Good enough. Go ahead and reload. See what I mean? Yep. Okay. All right, go ahead and draw to the target. However you normally shoot, five rounds as quick as you can. Go ahead and reload. All right, go ahead and aim it on the target. I'm gonna change a couple of things. So this, there you go. That. So see how your elbows are right now, yeah. how they're both pointed down like this. Mm -hmm. What I would like for you to do is think about rotating them out. Okay. okay? Um, load into that front leg a little bit more. There you go. Okay. Now, try and crush my hand in between your shoulder blades. All right? That's what I got. All right. Five rounds as quick as you can. Mm. Finger straight, safely holster. So, and the other thing too, guys, when I say try and crush my hand uh, with your shoulder blades, when you're shooting for real, you're not going to be doing that as, as uh, exaggerated as we're doing it now. I'm just trying to show you what that muscle activation feels like so you're thinking about it. Because if we were shooting this way all the time, you need to shoot relaxed. You, you want to be relaxed when you do this. But 
that's, that's kind of the muscle engagement that I'm looking for. Does that make sense? So I don't want you to think that like this step is like hard and fast. John said that my leg needed to be set like this and I need to have this much tension each time. I'm just sort of demonstrating the difference, right? All right. However you nor well, go ahead and draw to the target. However you normally shoot five rounds as quick as you can. Okay, finger straight. So present to the target. Just gonna change one thing, just a little bit, but try and, there you go. Five rounds as quick as you can. So same thing again, but without the trigger freeze. Yeah. Uno mas. Well, five more rounds. <laughs> All right. Okay. Safely holster. Um, if we're trying to work the trigger quickly, yeah. did, well, did you feel the difference? Kind of. Yeah. It. it yeah. It felt a little awkward for me. But yeah. yeah. I felt. Yeah. Well, hey, here's the other thing too, guys. Just because it, this is the way that I do it, my, my body type, physicality, or whatever supports that, if you really get into this and you're like, F this, <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> I'm completely okay with that, all right? I'm just showing you stuff. Right. Cool? All right. All right, draw to the target. However you normally shoot, five rounds as quick as you can. All right. So get this foot a little further forward. Load into that front leg a little bit more. Aim in on the target. Slight bend, just in this one here, just barely. Draw the shoulders back. All right, five rounds as quick as you can. Try that one more time. Okay, go ahead and top off if you need to. Safely holster. Was that any better for you or not so much? The, the, the elbow out like this was a little bit just a weird thing to get used to. Okay. So I just have to play with it a little bit. That's fine. Um, I, I can take it or leave it for you, just for how you were shooting, but it was just something I wanted to see what you thought. I, so what I've been working is to get more pinky grip pressure. It's actually coming down so that I get more mm -hmm. grip pressure on my pinky. So reversing that's like, wait, what? My body's like, oh. That's fine. We're just trying stuff. Sure. 